Hello everybody, we are back and of course today we are going to review topic 4 and the third managerial function which is leading. Leading is a managerial function that involves inspiring and influencing people in the organization to achieve a common goal. So if you want to review what are the definitions of leader, leading, leadership, the difference between a leader and a manager and which is better, and all other theories related to leadership, please watch this video. I will now present to you 1BSBAC. Leader is someone who can influence others and has managerial authority. Leaders are binders too. Why? Let's say for instance, here in the Philippines, our leader is President Duterte. Whatever he says in public will affect the mental state of his people. So instead of publicizing it, he should be using his managerial authority to solve the problem. Because what would have happened if the leader can bind his people? Leader is not just a title, it should be taken in action. Leadership is the art of the motivation of groups of people to act toward achieve a community common goal. In a business, settings this can meeting directly work and colleges with strategy to meet the company needs and leadership help themselves and others do right things they set direction build and sparing vision leadership traits refer to personal qualities that define effective leaders depending on a company's goals and the industry toward the fulfillment of goals and objectives successful leaders indeed differ from other people and possess some common personality traits that make them capable of being effective in a leadership goal. Common traits associated with leadership. Leaders exhibit a high effort level. They have a relatively high desire for achievement. They are ambitious. They, ha they have a lot of energy. They are tired tirelessly persistent in their activities and they show initiative. Leadership behavior is the traits and action that make an individual as a leader. This behavior is the process by a person can influence, direct, and guide the work to others to meet a specific goal. And in leadership behavior is the directive, supportive, participative and achievement oriented university of iowa studies the university of iowa studies explored the three leadership style to find which was the most effective so this university is the one who explore and find the most effective style in the three leadership style the autocratic democratic and license pair style low participation wherein one person controls all the decisions and take every little input from other group members. Democratic style describes a leader who involves their employees in decision making, delegates authority and uses feedback in coaching employees. This style is also known as participative leadership kasi nakatibende ito sa participation ng mga employees. Everyone given a chance or opportunity to participate and freely exchange ideas. This style is one of the most effective style of leadership. Kasi inaalaw niya yung mga employees to speak their opinions and ideas. So the topic is Lace's Fair Style. This is where a leader who lets the group makes decisions and complete the work in whatever way it sees fit. So this is kind of leadership kung saan hindi lamang ang leader ang gumagawa ng decisions o gumagawa ng isang proyekto. 
Ngunit dito binibigyan din karapatan ang mga members or staffs na mag-decision or mag-start ng isang proyekto at sila ang magtatapos nito. Thank you! Ohio State, the Ohio State Studies identified two important dimensions of leader behavior. The first was called instating structure which referred to the extent to which a leader defined his or her role and the rules of group members in attaining goals. The second was called consideration which was defined as the extent to which a leader had work relationships characterized by mutual trust and respect for group members' ideas and feelings. So, initiating structure means that a leader defines his or her role and the roles of group members in attaining goals, which means that it is a task-oriented structure as it only focuses and prioritizes the task, deadlines, and defining the roles of subordinates to successfully attain the goal of the organization. So, this structure is high in structure and low in consideration. What is the definition of consideration? It is defined as the extent to which a leader has work relationships characterized by mutual trust and respect for group members' ideas and feelings. So, it explains the way how a leader behaves toward, talk to, and deal with his or her members with equal treatment, approach, and concern. As an example, the members have different suggestions for the problem, so the leader should accept their ideas without any bias. Another example, when the member committed a mistake, the leader should properly talk to that member. University of Michigan The mission of the University of Michigan is to serve the people of Michigan and the world. Group permanence in creating, communicating, preserving, and applying knowledge, art, and academic values, and in developing leaders and citizens who will challenge the present and enrich the future. Employee-oriented. Employee-oriented is the process of introducing new hires to their jobs, co-workers, responsibilities, and workplace. It allows employees to the chance to feel comfortable within their new teams, departments, and the role in the company. <coughs> A production-oriented or orientation is a concept or philosophy that refers to the production techniques. It is paying more attention to those wants and needs of the customer rather than those target markets. It has two methods, the batch production and the mass production. Batch production, usually the products are produced after one another, while the mass production, usually the products are manufactured in a machine and they are produced in a large quantities. The managerial grade is the behavioral dimension from this early management. Studies provide the basis for development of a two-dimensional grid for a present leadership stance. The managerial grid model is a style leadership model developed by Robert R. Blake and Jane Mountain. This originally identified the five different leadership styles including manager, country club management, improved risk management, middle of road management, task management, and team management based on the concern for people and the concern of, for production. In management, the first concern of company is the happiness of people who are connected with it. If the people do not feel happy and cannot be made happy, the company does not deserve to so my topic is concern of production. The concern for production means an attitude of superior towards the quality of procedures and policies, creativeness of research, effectiveness of staff, and work efficiency and volume of output. Fiedler contingency model proposed that the effective group performance is dependent on properly matching leader style and amount of control and influence in the situation. So, the group performance is depend on the leader on how he or she control or influence his or her employees so that their performance is good and proper and a leader have one only style of leadership in different situations.
This preferred co-worker questionnaire is a questionnaire that contains 18 pairs of contrasting adjectives where the respondents will rate from 1 to 8 the co-workers that they least enjoy working with. If ang nakuhang score ng ni-rate is 64 and above, then the respondents' style is described as relationship-oriented. And if 57 or below naman ang nakuha ng narrate, the respondent style is considered as task-oriented. So, what is leader-member relations? So, one of Fiedler situational contingencies that describes the degree of confidence, the trust, and respect employees have for their leader. So, a leader who is more trusted and has more influence within the group is in a more favorable situation than a leader who is not trusted. Fiddler identifies the leader member relations as either good or poor. So, this is the example of Fiddler's model. Position power. The agree of influence a leader has over activities such as hiring, firing, discipline, promotion, salary increases, rated as either strong or weak, wherein the manager or a leader has the power to hire and fire, discipline, and promoting an employee or even increasing their salary. Hersey and Blanchard Situational Leadership Theory A theory on how an organization reacts to the situation to overcome the internal and external factor. It is an adaptive, flexible style or whereby leaders are encouraged to consider their followers, individuals, or a team, then consider the factors that impact the work environment before choosing on how they will lead. Readiness in organization assessment is an official measurement of readiness or preparedness of the company to undergo a major change or take on a significant new project. You don't want to jump into a big change or project without knowing if your company has the resources to accomplish it effectively. The result of the organizational assessment will give you the additional benefit of identifying the strength of your organization, most particularly the things that will be the strongest asset for you in your proposed change. Directive leader. Directive leadership involves a leader giving clear direction, objective, and expectation to the employees. Directive leadership is probably most effective when a task is complex and the employee is unskilled and experienced. My name is Patricia Z. Melendez, Section BSBAC. So, what is supportive leaders? Supportive leaders is a working along with followers guiding them, helping them instead of working ahead of them. So, Joe Paterno is a strong example of the supportive leadership style which is identified, identified by the Pat Gold Jury. Thank you. Participative leadership. Participative leadership is a style of leadership in which all members of organization work together to make decisions. Examples of participative leaders include facilitators, social workers, arbitrators, and group therapies. Our achievement-oriented leader, the accomplishment arranged by and conduct alleged circumstances where the pioneer defines testing objectives for representatives, anticipates that them should perform at their most significant level, and shows trust in their capacity to meet this desire. In other words, the top leaders give their employees what to do where the employees need to show their maximum ability to accomplish the works well. Leader Member Exchange Theory is a theory that tells leaders generate in groups and out groups. Leaders put members who are loyal, trustworthy, and skilled in in groups. In in groups, this will have higher performance ratings, less turn turnover, and greater job satisfactions. On the other hand, Leaders put members who are unmotivated and already betrayed their trust in outgroups. So outgroups have less access to managers or leaders and they have also less opportunities. Transformational leaders are those who inspire followers to surpass their own self-interest for the good of the organization by clarifying role and task requirements. So transformational leaders encourage their followers. They set clear goals and they inspire others to achieve their goals.
So here are some examples of transformational leaders. So first is Reed Hastings of Netflix. He's one of the founders and CEO of Netflix. Next is Jeff Bezos of Amazon. He is the CEO of Amazon back in 1994. And lastly is Satya Nadella of Microsoft. He became the new CEO of Microsoft in 2014. Transactional leaders. Transactional leaders are the leaders who guide and motivate their followers in the direction of established goals by clarifying roles and task requirements. In other words, they are the leaders who encourage their followers to achieve their goals by focusing on the specific task or job given to them. Sample of these are the high-level members of military and CEO of large companies. Charismatic leader is an enthusiastic, self-confident leader whose personality and actions influence people to behave in certain ways. Their leadership approach depends on the appeal and the efficacious of them. They are coerced by their notions and adherence to their thoughts. They are frequently seek to make existing conditions preferable. Typically, they can communicate effectively, possess emotional sensitivity, put a considerable emphasis on social types, and can maintain emotional control in numerous situations that may cause stress or troubling emotions. Visionary leader. From the word itself, vision, where the leader is thinking about or planning the future with imagination or wisdom and they ensure that his or her vision becomes a reality. Their leadership style creates excitement, positive momentum, and longevity in an organization. Visionary leaders inspire people to partner with them over an idea which they believe for a better future. That's why people enjoy working for visionary leaders. And also a visionary leaders, they not only seek to solve a problem but also to repeatedly ask why a problem needs to be solved in the first place. <laughs> From the word authentic, it means having off empathy and becoming transparent, whereas authentic leadership focuses on the moral aspects, beliefs, and values of a leader and knows how to play the role significantly by having off integrity, humility, being direct and empathetic enable for them to motivate, influence, and develop their followers. Also, it aims to achieve employee effectiveness, enable for them to reach the organization's goals. Team leadership, coaching its team members and being able to trust them to make their own decisions. By doing this, the leader can boost its team members' confidence and helps them to enhance their skills as a result of success of the company and for all of them, a win-win situation for both teams. Just like basketball, the coach teaches its players on what are the right thing to do, trusting and motivating them to make some plays and win the game. Thank you. In every leadership, there is an issue. First of all is lack of accountability. If the leader notices that the big things are not going it works so the leader have lack of accountability second is the fear of firing even the best leader are worried about firing the members be when they are close night family and other leadership issue are fair legitimate power represents a power a leader has as a result of his or her position in the organization it is a formal power that is given to you to your position. For example, these are the CEOs and the presidents that hold a position in the organization. Legitimate power and authority are the same, and the higher you go in the organizational hierarchy, the more power you hold. Coercive power. So according to the book, it is the power a leader has to punish or control. So, ito yung ability ng manager to force an employee na gawin or sundin yung order sa paraan ng panglapot sa employee. Pwedeng threats of uh, write-ups or yung kasulatan na ipipire ka, demotions, pay cuts, layoffs and termination, ito yung ginag power ang employees sa orders. Reward power is a power to give a positive rewards. A reward can be anything a person values. It is given to those who know how to obey and do the jobs assigned to them properly. For example, in a company, when an employee meets their objectives and they have done well and 
accurated their company goals. Their supervisor will be happy and appreciate it. And because of this, their supervisor will give any rewards. It can give a free food, can give a day off for at least a few days, or it can give a bonus. Expert power. It is a power based on expertise, special skills, and knowledge. If a person or employee has all of those mentioned, that person's expert skill expert power is enhanced and then example um, in the classroom teachers has expert power because that persons hold the position and then they are qualified to teach the topic reference power is a leader ability to influence a follower because of the followers respect admiration and personal identification with the leader the example of Reference power is the nationalism, patriotism, celebrities, mass leader, and the widely respected people. The belief in the integrity, character, and ability of a leader. This is the primary attribute associated with leadership, and trust that is broken can have adverse effect on a group's performance. People unlikely to follow someone if they think he or she is dishonest. Conversely, when followers trust the leaders, they are willing to be vulnerable to the leader's actions, and it increases commitment to team goals. To give an instance, um, it's really nothing for us to be able to achieve our goals. Of course, we have to trust ourselves. We have to trust our ability. Um, we have to be confident also, and it is very important. Talaga. The key dimensions that underlie the concept of trust are integrity, competence, consistency, loyalty, and openness. Trust is, trust is a positive expectation that others will not, through words, actions, or decisions. Trust implies familiarity and risk. This concept assesses another's trust, trustworthiness. It is very essential for the company and for the team because it, is, it increases the commitment to team goals. My topic is about the dimensions of trust. According to ebook, these are the data collected enabled us to calculate an overall concept of trust. For me, these are the measurements of someone's actions or characterization that will help us to create our own concept of trust. For example, in selecting a leaders of a nation, the countrymen selected those officials because they have seen that they met all the dimensions needed in building a trust. Credibility means they are personally able to effectively communicate their confidence and enthusiasm. For me, credibility means they are capable of doing things inspirably, interestingly, and aspiration in an honest way, believing enough to their self to reach their goals. Hello everyone, this is Maria Tamesa and my topic is about employees' empowerment. Employees' empowerment is defined as the ways in which organizations provide their employees with a certain degree of autonomy and control in their day-to-day -day activity. Employee empowerment is the management philosophy that emphasizes the importance of allowing employees to make independent decisions and act on them. Cross-cultural leadership, it is the ability for someone to how treat or deal with others through at different cultures. Ibig sabihin, um, kakayahan ng isang tao kung paano siya makitungo sa culture ng kapwa niya tao. Leader training. Organizations around the globe spend billions of dollars, yen, and euros on leadership training and development because this training are specialized programs designed to help you learn new leadership te techniques and refine old skills to run your business, including assertive communication, motivation methods, and coaching. Hello, my topic that gave it to me is substitutes for leadership. Jury is a leadership jury first developed by Stephen Kerr and John M. Germier and published in Organizational Behavior and Human Performance in December 1978. 
The jurist states that different situational factors can enhance, neutralize, or substitute for behavior. The definition of importance of leading. The function of management, which helps to maximize efficiently and achieve organizational goals, so that can motivate the other people to higher performance. For example, you are the place to be a leader held as a leader. You are a credible person who deserves to be respected and trusted by your partner. Leading is another of basic functions within the managerial process. Leading is important to use of influence to motivate employees to achieve organizational goals. Managers must be able to make employees want to participate in achieving an organizational goals. It helps to identify the right leaders for his employee and achieve the goals of an organization. A leader should, should aim to reach an organizational goal. There are four styles. First, the directive path goal, cal clarifying leader behavior. Our situation that front runner is being direct to employees. Second, achievement oriented behavior. Our situation when the leader set goals for the staff. Third, participative leader behavior. A situation when the leader's concern about suggestion of the workers. And last, supportive leader behavior. Our situation when the leaders concerned about the satisfaction of employees.